Attention, my children, my subjects, my children, my friends. We will be addressing the sins you have committed. Oh, do you like that? I do like that. Yes, I am Mother Superior or Mother Top, as I like to be called as well. Oh, hello. All right, you may speak up. I went to this camp. Oh, excuse a... me. Pardon me. You have to call me Mother first. Oh, sorry, Mom. <laughs> Mother, it's not mom! <laughs> yeah, close enough. I went to this camp as a child for like five years. And in my second year, I was about, I want to say, nine. And every Friday, they would give us chicken for dinner. And it was awfully cooked every time. Ugh, all right. You know how when you have bad food and <laughs> there aren't enough spaces in a bathroom, you kind of panic? So I would panic too. <laughs> my friend and I were racing to the bathroom. All right. And I won, but so he did not. All right. So I heard so many things I wish I did not. And the panic in his voice was, in a word, priceless. Anyways, I didn't, I, I assumed it was from the next hall over. I didn't know what was going on because my door was closed. We, we get back to the cabin and something smells a little funky and laundry happens in three days. So we're just gonna figure out what it is and we can't find it. And eventually our counselor starts berating us for not being hygienic and smelling like actual sh as, a, as he said. So we, we live in stink for three days. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. Yeah. And then laundry decays around. Everyone's, you know, getting their laundry bags out, putting it on the truck, and I see a stain at the bottom of his laundry bag. And I pull him to the side, and I'm just like, hey man, level with me. You shit your pants? And he says, please don't tell anyone about this. <gasps> and I didn't. <laughs> Until for now. So many years. Why? Why did it? He just throw them out! At least he didn't keep on wearing them. That would be like the worst case scenario. I'm just thinking about the people that had to do the laundry. And like, oh. move it to the machines. Okay. The result of your confession. You must always let your friend go first before you're gonna go sh at the same time now. But the thing is, then I lose. I don't want to be in that position. You made your friend be in that position. Actually, no, he was just slow. Me. Yeah. It should have been faster, I guess. All right, hello, Joe. Welcome on in. Uh, you wish to confess today. All right, so a few years ago, I was at a uh, I was at a house party. My buddy's girlfriend just graduated college and they just moved into a nice new place. And there was a lot of drinking involved. There was a lot of everything going on at that time, and a lot of cheap beer. Needless to say, and never it's never good. About thirteen or fourteen, and started feeling a little sick. 13 or 14 and deep, so basically near alcohol poisoning. Then my buddy's girlfriend looked at me. She's like, you're not looking too good. I'm like, yeah, I just need to go to the bathroom and, like, you know, wet my face. As soon as I get through the door, I lose it. So I threw up. And when I finished, I realized I accidentally threw up in the bathtub and not the toilet. And <laughs> How did you know? How did you not notice? And then uh, me being... <laughs> In me being the inebriated idiot I was, I'm like, it's fine, it'll go down. And then I go downstairs, the party resumes, I pass out on the couch, I wake mm -hmm. up the next morning, and my buddy's girlfriend's freaking out, she's like, someone threw up in the bathtub, it's all over down the side, it's on the floor, and I'm mm. just like, oh no. May I ask how much there was in the tub? If you're sensitive, close your ears. Probably say maybe about like half a gallon. How much is a gallon? <laughs> I'm not American, gallon. I'm searching a gallon. <gasps> what? My child, have you ever gotten that gross since? Recently, ironically, yes. Oh, and how did that go? At least it wasn't in a tub. Instead, it was in someone's car. That is way worse. Did they have leather seats? Um, no. <gasps> they had fabric? Yes. All right, you should have spoken about this one. That is awful. <laughs> oh, my Lanta, that is horrendous. Did you pay anyone for this? I did. One with the bathtub, they still don't know it was me, and I still hang out with them to this day. Are I you serious? Speak of it. Yes, but the recent one, I actually, the co-worker, <laughs> we were at a company party, and uh, it got out of hand. Thank you so very much, Jello. Uh, the result of your confession, my child, which I do believe reflects the fairness of the Lord, um, is you have to get them a few drinks uh, as an apology for destroying their bathtub as well as their car. Hello, welcome on in. Hello. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> wait, wait, my child, who am I speaking with? What would you like to go by? Jasper. Jasper? I really haven't told the story anyone. Heads up warning, it's cringe as fuck. So 
the year is 2004. I'm seven years old and, you know, stuff has, uh, has been tense in school and shit. And I've mm -hmm. had this had a crush on this girl. She was the cousin of my best friend. Okay, all right. So I got to see her regularly in my off time. Um, <laughs> right. And my daily routine after school was basically homework, then eat, and then anime. Like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> nice, okay. And I was giga hyped because the Cell games were reaching the end with uh, Son Gohan finally facing off against Cell and beating his ass. So mm -hmm. I got really motivated from that moment and decided to finally ask her out. So I managed to um, get her to meet me on a local play uh, playground after school. And I was beating around the bush for a really long time. I just couldn't get it out. I couldn't get it out of my mm -hmm. chest. I don't know what, what got to me. You got nervous. So obviously, obviously she was getting annoyed and um, seeing her getting ready to leave, I got desperate. Okay. So I just blurt <gasps> off the confession no. and I just see the color draining from her face, the disgust visible in her face. Oh no! At that moment, my, my mind just went blank. Mm -hmm. I somehow rewinded the fight from Gohan from yesterday and <laughs> I, I thought I can do it and I just started screaming from the top of my lungs and she she just stood there flabbergasted shocked and I thought a bit more a bit more I can do it so I pressed really hard and screamed so hard that I somehow managed to shit myself no! and pass out. <laughs> no! Next thing I knew was my parents carrying me home and I've never seen the girl <laughs> for the rest of my life. Like, she switched schools and shit. I, I've never seen her after that again. <laughs> I'm, I'm so very sorry, my child. Thanks. So did you feel your power level increase, Jasper? I did feel something increase, but I don't think it was my power level. <laughs> okay, the result of your confession. The outcome, you are no longer able to watch Dragon Ball Z. Okay. I can't live with that. Give me mommy for I've sinned. Oh, fuck. <laughs> your voice is... Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Or sorry, my child, would you like to, um, to confess? Yes, I would. <laughs> All right, please. Uh, 19, I was living at home, and I had met this really cool girl, a cosplayer and a cam model at a convention. Mm -hmm. And she's super cool. Awesome, Manic pixie sweet. dream girl, yes. Yeah, right? Uh -huh. yeah, and and with, course. like, you know, young Jonah, I was like, dude, <laughs> let's get your dick wet. So, <laughs> we, uh, and I got her number, and we started hanging out and stuff. Uh -huh. and we, one day, I invited her over to my house, and my bedroom at the time was like, like, Hey Arnold's bedroom. You remember <laughs> Hey Arnold's bedroom? And there was like a skylight, and there was like a couch and a TV and stuff, and I, I brought her upstairs, um, mm -hmm. sat on the couch, and I turned on uh, the sexiest cartoon that I could possibly think cartoon. of, that was King of the Hill. We had King of the Hill on. We had the, the, sex, the sexual tension that only people who were like in their early 20s could have, where it's just like, does she like me? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. So we, she, she held my hand, which automatically was like fucking insane, right? Did like you... how good. Oh, almost. It was, it, was, it was this mass. I was like, I was like half masked at this point. I, I looked at her and she said, like, look me, look me deep in the eyes. And she said, hey, Jonah, I'm hungry. And I'm like, oh. Well, we got some potato soup downstairs, and <laughs> there's I got potato chips, and I can make you a sandwich. And she's like, oh, okay. So I <laughs> go downstairs, and I made her some potato soup, and I made and 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 then uh, you know, ten minutes passed, <laughs> and we kept watching King of the Hill, and she grabbed my hand and squeezed it. Uh huh. And wow. Like in the back of my head, I'm like, dude, she wants it, but like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm nervous. She said, Jonah, I'm hungry, and I'm like, uh, I could make you some tea. <laughs> uh, so she's like, yeah, okay, let's make me some tea. And then the third time she squeezed my hand, she said, 
I called my friends. We're going to go to Chipotle. And I'm like, okay, cool. So you must be really hungry because I get, I just made you a bowl of potato soup and I made you tea mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I am too nervous to unzip. So uh, <laughs> I get a normal burrito. You know, I get like, you know, black beans, some yep. steak, a little rice, mm -hmm. maybe some cheese. Yeah, I like to shy away from sure. dairy. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Oh. Little did I know as we were eating, mm. she had gotten probably the most hellish satanic concoction of capsaicin that you could possibly imagine. A very capsaicin. incredibly spicy burrito. So we go back home and she squeezes my hand again, Cotton, and she says, mm -hmm. Jonah, I want to suck your dick. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I take my pants off and I'm hard and she just starts sucking my dick. And I'm like, dude, this is fucking awesome. Of course. <laughs> So we get about 10 minutes into this. And you know, if you get like a 10, 15 minute blow job that she really cares about you because her jaw is going to start to hurt. After about 15 minutes into this episode, there's this low, dull throb. And you know, I know a throb that's a sexual throb. I understand that. I've been there before. I get uh -huh. that. This wasn't a sexual throb. This was a, a cutaneous throb, something on my skin. And oh. <gasps> after a little bit, I'm just like, Okay, you know, you know, just, just deal with it. Just, it's okay. It's just like, you know, somebody, maybe a tooth, maybe she brushed her teeth or something like that. You know, it's just like, maybe she's chewing gum. I don't know. You know, maybe she did something. Maybe this is one of her tricks. Five minutes later, yeah. it starts to feel even worse. It starts to feel like there's, there's, there's something is wrong, right? This is an, in, this is not fun. This is not a fun feeling. Uh -huh. And I reach the, the sexual impasse that I wish upon no man. Do I ask this woman? to stop sucking my cock. The sin here is that I asked a woman to stop sucking my dick and I said, and I quote, Cotton, you can write this down. <laughs> put my hand on her head, which she kind of felt was like a, you know, oh, you're gonna push my head down and- just... Can we get a rain check on this? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm like, can we, I really, I'm really super into this. Like I'm super into you, I'm super into uh, my penis, I'm super uh, into my tongue and stuff, but like it took about a day and a half for that to finally go <gasps> away. And oh my God. I showered twice. <gasps> but uh, the takeaway here is that the theme song to King of the Hill was playing the entire time I asked her to stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Wait, can we reenact it? Yeah. Wait, wait, I'll get it pulled up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pull it up, pull it up. Holy shit. <laughs> the yell the I tried. Holy shit. Yeah, yeehaw. Dude, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> Forgive me, mommy, for um. I have sinned. <laughs> did you ever talk to her after? Did you ever uh, continue the rain check? Like, did you did you move the date? Oh yeah, we had a couple of really wild nights. I I, I fucked the shit out of her, but so uh, epic. That that, but like, I haven't talked to her in years. You're great. Um, you're great. Uh, your sin. <laughs> you're great. I don't think it's a sin to revoke consent after given. You're sexy and base, and uh, guys, make sure to check out Alpha Aniki. Is that how you pronounce it? Aniki, yeah. Alpha Aniki. Aniki. Aniki, pardon me. Uh, Alpha Aniki and uh, Jonah Scott. Um, you're hot. Thank you. You may now exit the booth, kitten. You're hot. You're hot. All right. Bye, uh, bye, bye, Cotton. Kiss bye, me. chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm.